and we are live what's going on youtube it's set and key media it's key in here on the solo your favorite big four-headed youtuber man and i want to get into a good conversation today with y'all man we got a quick little live before i hit the gym let's get right into it man because myron went the fuck in cool i see you bro let's see how it is let's see how it is i'm gonna stay quiet but i won't forget Actually, let me know if everything good. sounds good looks okay, good go. help me yeah, out i'm in here on a solo like i said crazy, people come out the woodwork man and it's wild because it's it's funny it's like if you make a hippie some fresh fit you're gonna get like a bunch of views because these people can't garner views with, without it bro they Facts. really can't garner views without it it's crazy um wrdda goes fresh did you see Bar bernard uh riley yeah. oh okay all right Walter, that man in front of you is a true friend. The man is defending you left and right after tonight's shows. I want to take the man and go buy him an ice cream and get him a nice balloon. Oh, That's from Punisher. Send, send I appreciate that, bro. I mean, you know, yeah. it really bothers me when people talk shit about my now. friends, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, it really does fucking piss me off. When the when the Andrew Tate allegations came out, fucking pissed me off. Um, oh, when shit. people talk shit about Fresh, gets me fucking mad. When people talk shit about Sneeko, etc. If you're my friend, you're my friend. I'm with you regardless of whether it's convenient or not. You fucking pussies in the chat. So you, you're buried. And I really respect Myron for that take because that's been his stance for as long as I can remember. Like whenever somebody attacks his homies, like, y'all know these niggas off camera. Y'all know what they do for me, how much they help me, our relationship, our bond, you know, how we done been in the trenches, how we done had to overcome this, this, that, and the third. Like, y'all see a small portion of our lives that we show y'all, that we allow y'all to see, which is on camera. And y'all trying to tell me about my friends who I know behind the scenes. Man, fuck y'all. You're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term, loyal to a fault. Okay? And if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, Pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Oof. Okay? He's it cooking. Is what it is, you oh shit, he's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. I got 20 fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. And I get money residually. Oof. I don't fucking need to do this shit, and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I stand with my fucking. And shout out Myron, man, because y'all might be thinking, man, he's he's over emotional. He's he's about to cry. He he got the vein in his forehead. He doing too much, right? Y'all, that's what some of y'all might be saying. Man, okay, whatever, right? But bro, y'all gotta understand everything that Fresh and Fit done been through, the cancellation that came for him, the Matrix attack, whatever you want to call it. They got demonetized on YouTube and still are demonetized, yo. Like, it's not a lot of people. Regardless of the size of your channel, the amount of followers you got that could get followed or get uh, demonetized, still keep that following and still run they show. And they done made upgrades after the cancellation. So, yeah, he's he feels some type of way about this shit, man. Yeah, his heart and soul in this shit. Shout out. Friends, period. All right? Some of I'm gonna let this man cook. Get a fucking spine, you jellyfish, SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house, pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers haven't stepped in the gym in three weeks, trying to tell me how to fucking be love to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave fresh. Leave fresh. He's holding you down. He's holding you down. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build, build residual income coming in every fucking month so I can sit here and tell you Facts. fucking hairs, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say and I'm going to fuck what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my 10 toes and my two feet and I fucking stand. Make sure to like the video on your way in. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there and say, Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Sneeko? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having drop cars? Fresh is an idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects
ask you, motherfucker. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, shut the fuck up. And that's, <laughs> hey, I pause it out a hard ass part because this nigga do look intense right now. But man, I just kind of want to break down a couple things that he's already kind of went over. He'll continue to go over, but I just kind of want to give you my spin, my breakdown, my analysis. Because a lot of people do like that loyalty, man. A lot of people don't even really know what loyalty truly means in the sense, in the confines, confinements of a relationship, like a, a, a brotherhood, a, 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 a friendship. Like people lack loyalty and y'all trying to call this nigga loyal to a fault. So real quick, before I let him finish cooking, I'll need to define loyalty for y'all. Loyalty is giving or showing firm and constant constant firm unmoving god damn it firm and constant support or allegiance to a person or institution right so now that i just defined that let me let my nigga finish cooking i done gave y'all some context now hear what my bro is about to say Cause now it should mean a little bit more to y'all niggas. Cause you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People will fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. What's up, John Morant? To absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do. Because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mind came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there. Translation. Y'all niggas wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym late night. 100 shots. I had to get my own rebounds. Had to set my own shot back up. Y'all niggas wasn't there. When this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses three years later believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right fucking here. All right? And yeah, y'all came at bro with the same shit. So y'all don't think he feels some type of way y'all coming at his mans with the same shit? Trying to tear these niggas down? Like, bro, it's a platform. It's social media. It's a podcast. Fuck all that other shit. We two real niggas behind the scenes. We two real bosses on some real shit. They got employees, bro. So y'all trying to attack Fresh and Fit. Y'all coming at other folks' livelihood. Y'all don't think they pay Mo, Bills, Chris. Uh, I forget some of the girls' names behind the scenes, man. But they got, I think they didn't say that like 1.10 to 20 people that work for them, bro. Y'all trying to tear some real shit down. Real entrepreneurial shit. They spreading a good message to men. You know? Ain't nobody saying everybody agree with everything Fresh and Fit say. But the the majority of the shit that they say is helpful for a lot of folks. So y'all trying to come at some shit that is really positive on the most part. These guys are with me in my darkest times. I'm not gonna fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate, I got my money, I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. I think we just so used to people not having that emotion, not having that passion. Like, I ain't saying he can't be intense at times. I've been told I could be intense at times. We all got our intense moment given the topic. You might not feel like this about what Myron's talking about right now, but. You might get this way about basketball. You might feel this way about your kids. You might feel this way about your career, whatever, what have you, right? So I think we should all have something we are this level of passionate about. Now, are we displaying it? Are we throwing cups? Are we breaking shit like Myron? Eh, it, it, it is what it is, right? But we should all have something in our lives, respectively, you know what I'm saying, that we this passionate about for real. And this brings me to my next point as I break down uh, uh, uh out of layers to this video passion and you know he he demonstrated it perfectly strong feeling or belief in something y'all don't think he passionate about this shit my nigga just broke his punisher cup he yelling screaming vein popping out like my man john morant said he about to have a heart attack he going crazy he's spazzing 
But that's because he's passionate about this shit. Y'all done came for his friend. Y'all done came for my co-host. I feel like y'all are coming for Fresh and Fit again. Fuck y'all. That was real. Real talk from the heart. Um, w, w. Myron, uh, you broke the glass and maybe the TV. Okay, um, that was uh, this nigga threw the glass down so fucking hard it that it shattered, and a piece of glass that shattered from the glass broke the damn monitor. Any more chats here before we close out? I mean, that's real talk, man. That's, that's, that's a real friend, man, because uh, when he went through it, we were here. When I go through it, he's here, too, so it's like, it's loyalty, man. Make sure to like oh, the video on your way in. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Mo. Yeah. For you. This nigga broke the whole glass, bro? Durag Myron says uh, she just constipated. <laughs> Housemaster... Fresh plead the fifth and let Chinaman from Myron's Overwatch stream cook. The <laughs> Observer 0100 dollar chat. W Fresh, as an Asian man, I am disappointed in her. I am not successful like you guys, but please use this to help fight this case. All right. Love you guys. Now he's about to come back in and cook up for round two. But before he does that, man, what y'all think so far, man? I think that Myron just really is a passionate dude. He's a loyal person. You loyalty to a fault doesn't exist to me because if you go off the definition of loyalty, he's just following it to a T. And I think, like I said, we lack loyal people. We lack passionate people in this world. Which brings me to my next point is that people lack the ability to really start something and finish it with the same crew. And what I mean by that is I think a lot of people in their life are so used to people lacking loyalty that they've experienced it so many times in their life that when they look at Fresh and Fit, they are putting themselves in Myron's shoes and being like, man, I would have been left fresh, but you're just not as loyal as that man. Let's take it there. Let's be honest. Let's get into it. I think the people that tend to look at Myron and be like, man, you're loyal to a fault. They just lack that same loyalty in themselves. So they look at Myron and they see it as a character flaw when it, if it had been them, they would have just cut that person off because they felt like they could have did better without him. Nah, man, I started with you. I'm going to finish with you. If I start. Like, and I'm even talking romantic relationships at this point because, man, I'll be honest with y'all, I've only had so many relationships now. I mean, obviously, mess with way more females than actual relationships, but I could really count how many relationships I've had, like, easily. Like, it's not a lot because if I start that with you, I'm trying to see that through to the end. And whatever the end is, is it ain't. A long time, right? So I can understand starting something with somebody, the concept of starting something with somebody, wanting to finish it out, and being passionate about it to the point where you're willing to do whatever to see that shit through. Ain't nobody finna come for this shit. Thank you, bro. Yeah, he'll be back soon in person for an in-person interview. Damn, nigga, you went in. Take a break. I mean, <laughs> Take a break. Uh, <laughs> What's up, y'all? Make sure to like the video on the way in. What's up, Capital? It's obvious this girl's lying, but fresh. Be very careful. Capital, you think he was just doing that for the for the for the uh, for the virality, for the clips, for the camera? In the dream, it's very dangerous. Law of distraction, hundred dollars. I realized Myron is what I was. My old friend Luis. Luis used to make bonehead. Now, I will say this. I will say this because I love that perspective, Capital, because there's a lot of people who say, you know, Myron knows his fan base. Obviously, he's a smart guy. He knows they like it when he rages. He knows. So, was there a hint of that in there? Maybe. Perhaps. I appreciate that perspective, Capital. Shout out to you, bro. 
often had mistakes, but it was due to daddy issues. The reality is most of us learn on the job, aka life, sending love to the crew. Mm. Captain Bamalam says... Let's get past some of these super chats. Um, it, it amazes me how... Um, because he goes in for round two. This is like a lost thing. And, and people always say um, masculinity is dead, right? Like we live in a fucking the lost boy generation. Yeah. I mean, it's not just the, the inability to speak to women or the, you know, people not being in shape or lower testosterone levels. Like being loyal to your to your friends, especially your guy friends, is like a masculine trait. Standing through. Being loyal, period, like is a masculine ass trait. Let's be honest. Like, because if you got somebody's back, you got somebody's back. I mean, bro, if shit go up and hit the fan, I'm right there with you. If you having a low moment, I'm right there with you. And I think a lot of people are loyal in certain moments. And now hear me out when I explain this, y'all. I think a lot of people are loyal in certain moments. And we know folks like this. But when it comes to other things, you don't see them around as much, right? Think about the friend you got like, oh, you go to the club. Y'all go chill. Y'all go smoke. Whatever do turn up. But, ah, man, you having a bad day. You just need a bro to kind of just chat it up with, you know, get some shit off your chest. He's nowhere to be around. Let's be honest. We got friends like that. Want to turn up, want to have fun. But when it's a serious moment, like, damn, bro, uh, damn, can you help me out with this? Or, damn, bro, uh, what you doing? I low-key just, uh, damn, I just kind of got to need to get some shit off my chest. They're nowhere to be found. They're nowhere to be found. So we know folks like that. And that's a lack of loyalty as well. That's a lack of loyalty as well. If I got your back, that means I got your back. Up here and down here. Thick and thin is very important, right? And that's a lost art too. It's like, it, it, we've lost masculinity so many other ways that people don't even realize. And what I've noticed... <clears throat> and I feel you, Capital. Like I said, I appreciate that perspective, bro. Because, like I said, he does know his fan base. And he does know that they like it when he rages, you know. And that type of shit does go viral and all that good shit. So it might have been a mix. It might have been that plus, you know, like I said, they came for him before on the same type of allegations. So maybe he was just caught up in a moment and felt some type of way because they was coming at his homie. Or it could be what you're saying. I appreciate that perspective. Like I said, shout out Capital. Especially if you're coming into like this world, the entertainment world, etc. cetera, from coming from a law enforcement background. Loyalty is a foreign concept. Like it's like a, it's like a no integrity. It's, there's no integrity, and it's like, to, like, the profession I came from, right? As you guys know, I used to work for in law enforcement. Thanks. Like you're hitting a door with somebody. Like this is you can literally both die going in. You needed to trust the guy that you were going into the house with. So like, whether you liked each other or not, there was that level of respect and that level of like, oh, yo, I'm loyal to you because we can fucking die together. And like, the fact that i exhibit this trait and people look at me like i'm crazy mm. it tells me like what the fuck is mm. going on but then i look who are these people usually that that look at me like i'm a foreign and in the youtube world social media world entertainment world influencer world whatever you want to call it it's full of disloyalty it's full of snark uh sharks and snakes everybody is willing to make a hit piece on you if it's going to bring them some views and some virality and some money yeah, for sure. I don't give a fuck if we're all in the manosphere or all in a red pill space. Bro, if you got a hot topic or some bad publicity going against you, let's just say whoever you are. I'm not going to mention any channels names specifically, but I can easily see how it doesn't matter if we're in the same space, bro. You got this going on. I'm going to make a topic about it. I don't care. I got to get the views, bro. It's the hottest thing going. In individual when I say to be loyal triple chin fat obese look like fucking shit <laughs> you know no fucking bass in their voice having a facts facts great point John Morant it has to be reciprocated accomplish shit in their fucking life yeah. fucking losers right you go to the gym with but in this case it has been they've been through the fire and the ringer together you know they went through cancellation they hear they made it through they Potentially could get remonetized on YouTube, so they've all had each other's backs with the same crew. Them, they do two sets. Oh, it hurts. I don't know if I can do this anymore. They're fucking soft, and then it, it, it never fails. That's why you're where you're at, guys. If you're broke or you're fat, etc., it's not just because you're broke and you're fat. It's an outward manifestation of your personality and your fucking character. That's something that's missing nowadays. No fucking character. People sell you out mm. for a fucking dollar if they can do it. Mm. 
Man, I'm talking about a lot of these fucking YouTubers. That's what I was just saying. We share a space. Uh, a space. We share a sphere. A niche. We are spreading the same message, essentially. But the second something comes about bad about you, I'm covering it. I'm over here blastering you or plastering a, a, a smear campaign against you. But, bro, we supposed to be in the same sphere. We supposed to be spreading the same message, helping people out. But now you got some shit that came out about you and I'm talking shit now. I see where he I see what he's saying. I see where you could say that is disloyal. That ran to the fucking gun to go ahead and make a hit piece immediately without knowing all the facts. Facts. Yeah. But that's that's what it is. That's in 2024 and beyond. There's none of this shit. Like, it's just, it's just like. Yeah, bro. Yeah, woo. Loyalty, fuck that shit. And loyalty is built. You don't just give this type of loyalty off the rip to anyone. That's how you. That's how you get burnt. But you build up to that point. It's reciprocated. Y'all locked in. Yeah, bro. You got to keep that going. You got to keep that going. And the second you don't, you are disloyal. Once there is that expectation of loyalty as well from both parties, you are expected to keep that and maintain that. Or yes, you are disloyal. It's almost like hashtag believe all women but over again. It's all good, man. Fucking simps everywhere, bro. And the fact that I can't believe it, even four years after the fact, people still sit there and rally and say, bar, leave fresh, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I can't fucking believe that y'all still it's say crazy. this shit. Yeah. Like, what, what? Do I look like fucking Abba? Do I look like I like to get milk and I go ahead mm. and turn all fours. turn around? Yeah, turn around and switch up on people. Do I look like that? Do I look like someone that will go into someone's house and then do some backstab bullshit like that for a dollar? Do I look like that fucking ass clown? I don't think so. All right? Yeah. Might be from the same part of the world, but we got different mindsets. Mm. Completely different mindsets. Facts. He's a pussy, I'm not. I stand by my friends, he doesn't. All right? So, guys, like I said before, if there's one thing you learned from this podcast. You guys have seen all the bullshit that we've been through. You guys want to know why we're successful and we keep fucking pushing through? Facts. Because we stick together, man. We don't give up. That's why. We stick together. And you guys can say whatever the fuck you guys want to say about Fresh, about Mo, about Bills, about Chris or whatever. They're with us during the darkest times, bro. Yep. And that's why we're still here giving y'all the content that we're giving y'all. That's why we've been able to go strong. Bro, most YouTubers, you guys think most YouTubers will be around uh, almost a year after the fact if they got demonetized? No, they'd be gone. They'd be fucking gone. The fact that we've still been able to give y'all content, and not only that, give y'all fucking bangers, give y'all... Amazing shit. We had so many guests come on. So many guests come on. We've had banger guests. We had Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Candace Owens, Andrew Wilson, Jake Shields, um, Rampage Jackson, J Rampage Jackson. Uh, uh, fuck, man, just so many I can't even. Tk academics. Tk Kirkland was just here. Academics. Facts, like, facts. Like, They've like, been going crazy so with the guests. In the past, like, they have been months. cooking with the guests. Uh, in 2024, everyone's like, oh, Fresh Foot's gonna fall off. In 2024, <laughs> they're gonna fall off. Fuck out of here, man. We began fucking better and better and better, giving you our IRL streams, etc. We just made the content better, new studio, etc. Everyone thought we were down for the count. We got demonetized, but we're fucking here. You guys want to know why we're here? Because we stick together with the people that we came in with. That's why. What's up? What's up, Capital? Talk to me, bro. You think Myron Cap? Uh, let me, let me, I want to hear your perspective, bro. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. When you're loyal to people, they're loyal to you. Like I told y'all before, Destiny didn't have to fucking do that shit. But why do you do that shit? Because like, damn, Fresh Foot stood by. You, 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 uh, you define him, bro. Like he's a, a snake oil salesman or some shit like that. Me, even though we're not friends, but they didn't fucking attack me while I was down. So you know what? I'm going to fucking shit on this girl for them. We didn't tell him. And he has questions. But that's what happens because integrity is so goddamn rare that when you actually do get it, people are like, God damn, I respect this shit. Yo, they didn't kick me, when they, they didn't kick me while I was down for some views like everyone else fucking did. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling y'all, man. Maybe you're not a loyal person right now watching the show. Maybe you're yep. not someone that has that t integrity. That's exactly what it is. They lack that loyalty. They lack that integrity, that passion towards anything. They're not passionate in shit. But Call of Duty, GTA food some bullshit weed hey, y'all passion is uh smoking a, a, a three five a, a wood that's y'all passion right so when y'all see somebody get up on here and be passionate about a career passionate about a business they homies they they business partners it's like oh man he's he's emotional he's a he's a crybaby like bro only thing you get emotional about is when you uh you ain't get what you wanted to eat <laughs> Only thing you get emotional about is when you ain't get your kill streak in Call of Duty. I ain't trying to hear shit from you niggas. Maybe you're a guy that fucking flows with the wind, right? 
and you're not able to maintain friendships, people don't respect you, whatever. Hey, bro, you get emotional about hoes. I ain't trying to hear shit from you. Bro, practice going against the grain. Practice being that guy that people can trust. Practice being that guy that people can rely on. He tells you something and says, bro, don't say nothing. You want to be that motherfucker. No one ever heard it. You know how many times people say, yo, don't tell nobody this, blah, blah, blah. Cool. It dies with me. And then they never hear it again. And then they're like, yo, I'm going to tell you something, yo, etc. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. I'm like, yo, don't tell nobody. I'm like, bro, when's the last time you heard something that you told me again? And they're like, actually, you're right. Yeah. Shit like that is what I pride myself on. People tell me shit, bro. I told y'all. Arab told me himself. He was fucking kidnapped and he said, don't say nothing. All right. Y'all heard it? Y'all didn't hear it, did you? You heard it when he announced it on Twitter? But that's little shit like that, guys, is so yeah. important, man. And this isn't a podcast about me telling y'all how to develop masculine traits, etc. But I'm just telling y'all, man, if you have these traits, it's fucking respected because it's so goddamn rare nowadays. Man. That's facts. That's facts. We're not going to play like we don't know niggas who uh, you'll tell them something. And then two seconds later, you will see them telling the telling the person that you said something about. You're like, bro, I, just, what, you, I said, bro, sometimes you got to play with people like that. Like you, you can test the rat. Give him some poisonous cheese. And you know he's going to go back to the base with it. Yeah, sometimes you got to play with people like that because people are hilarious like that. People are hilarious like that. I can't hold fucking water. I don't trust anybody with any of y'all secrets or sensitive information. I assume everybody is a is a op, really, in that scenario. I mean, even in public, walking into rooms, when you have the respects, you walk in, people show you homage. That's why in Miami, we're good. Yeah. And wherever we go. So, yeah. Uh, did, you, did, did you break the TV? All right. <laughs> this nigga, yeah, there's the a line through the TV now. This <laughs> nigga went crazy. It's fine though. Yeah, what's it? What's it? Yeah, the Punisher yeah. Cup. I got another one. The Punisher Cup is gone. I punished the Punisher Cup. This the other Cup is gone, bro. <laughs> oh, Punisher says. I genuinely don't, like if I really care about you and I'm gonna have a conversation with you where I care about your self interest, why am I gonna do it in front of a camera? Like that's a, that's a big red flag. Like, yo, that's a big red flag if someone's trying to hold you accountable in front of a camera. That's that's weird, bro. That's weird. Cause how can you actually have a genuine fruitful conversation in front of a camera? Because we're all men here. We all don't want to back down or look crazy or get uh, emasculated on camera. Like like, like, listen to yourselves when you say this stupid shit. Holy yeah, I gotta do, yeah, I do have to hear shit like that. Not everything is content, bro. Like, if I really care about my homie, if I got something to tell Seth or he got something to tell me, we're not gonna have that conversation on camera. And there has been times, like, maybe I wanted to say something, maybe he wanted to say something. We've had that conversation off camera. We're not gonna do that in front of y'all. Not gonna do that in front of a camera. Gonna do that man-to-man, -man, respectfully, to the side, as it should be done. So... People asking, like, oh, why didn't you say anything to Fresh on camera? Y'all, bro, it's the same motherfuckers that are like, oh, you're over loyal. You're just loyal to a fault. Saying weird shit because y'all would do it for content. Because y'all would have cut Fresh off for the next motherfucker. Because y'all some damn groupies. Some thoughts. Yeah, male thoughts that would have cut your homie off for the next nigga. Like, what type of shit is that, bro? Let me kill on camera. That tells me you haven't lived life for real. <laughs> that tells me you haven't lived life for real. For real. I'll give you guys a fucking example. Groupie hoes. I remember one time, I was a team leader on a, on a, on a takedown, right? On a, on a fucking house. And one of the agents fucked up. They didn't do something properly, right? Instead of shitting on him in front of everybody, right, and making him look crazy, I said, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I pulled him to the side and I told him, hey, man, don't do that. Do X, Y, Z instead. He's a new agent. Why am I going to fucking chew him out in front of everybody? But... See, that's just a life skill that right. you learn from being a real individual. And like, only person that would do some shit like that in front of the uh, a, the group is somebody who like gets off on like embarrassing people or like making people look small. Like, if you a real man, a real nigga, or just a guy, any character, you gonna pull him to the side. Like, bro, I ain't trying to embarrass you or nothing like that, bro. But you gonna get us fucked up if you do it like that. Do it like this. Working a real job and dealing with people normally, you don't ever shit on people publicly it doesn't work it doesn't work like that, oh a right? trick trick Obviously, trick i thought you meant he's tricking niggas I, I thought you meant he's tricking his fans or he's tricking his his audience but you mean a trick like he be he be <laughs> okay i mean yeah i guess they did say that about him i don't know i don't fucking know i mean 
I would say it like this though. If he was to give advice on uh, buying women or I don't know. He doesn't really give advice on. He just gives advice on how to like deal with women, not take bullshit from women. So and the shit he says is, you know, spot on for the most part. There's some shit he says that I don't agree with. But in general, I think a lot of his advice can be taken. So I don't know. I mean, if he's buying it, if he's not buying it, if it hits, it hits. If the shoe fits, it fits. Cool. That's different, right? You guys are calling in and you know that you're going to get roasted sometimes publicly. But here's the beauty. It's anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. You're calling in. Yeah. It's fine, right? But when you're shitting on someone publicly, right, it just doesn't work most of the time, guys. So for you guys that sit there, oh, 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 you can't, you know. bro, we have our conversations behind the scenes. Trust me. There's a big, why do you think he's going to the gym and he's been doing speech therapy? We talked about this shit. All right? So... You know, and people can say whatever they want. Oh, well, first, oh, his speech still sucks. But, bro, watch the, a podcast from four years ago, and you won't understand nothing this nigga's saying. That's a fact. Yeah, I, they do say that. They do say that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, Capital. I don't know. Fact, that was terrible. You know? But hey, man, we live and we learn, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, So, it is what it is, man. I, I've always thought that was very weird and goofy that some of y'all be in the chest saying, hold them accountable, Myron. Yeah, I already did. We already had a very long conversation about this shit earlier today. Yeah. So, anyway. It is what it is, man. Yeah. What's up next? Well, I think that's a good point to end it. I just wanted to get into that real quick with y'all. Because, um, yeah, man, a lot of y'all lack loyalty. That's why y'all be looking at Myron like he's weird for holding his homies down holding his crew down staying with the people who started this shit with like why do y'all not want to see fresh improve isn't this a po- isn't that kind of weird how this is a podcast about male self improvement but y'all don't want to see that nigga fresh improve oh well, he, he I would have improved by now oh he's going too slow uh uh uh, uh. but y'all some dick riders bro get off this man meat Understand he's a multi-millionaire on a very successful podcast, living in one of the best cities in the world, and he's doing his thing. And I'm not even I'm not even dick riding the man. I think he could make improvements, right? I I'm just holding him accountable, but he knows that he's making the improvements. Myron's holding him uh accountable. He's not gonna do it on camera. I don't know why y'all are so pressed for this man to like shit on this nigga on camera. Like, bro, it is what it is. He said, give advice on tricking, because that's what they are. I hear you, Capital. Like I said, bro, if, if if they give advice and it hits, it helps men, it, it applies, then I don't know. I'm not really too worried about what they're doing off camera. If they are, they are. It is what it is. I'm, I'm not a fan, boy. I just enjoy the content. So I'm not going to say they do or don't, but it is what it is. But I do think that he's passed he hit on a lot of good points i want to recap for y'all real quick before i hop off and uh the first one <laughs> capital bro chill but look so my own went crazy right and he touched on a lot of points uh one of the first major points i wanted to get into or recap for y'all is the definition of loyalty man giving or showing firm or constant support or allegiance to a person or institution. Something y'all niggas don't know nothing about. Something y'all boys don't know nothing about. And I think when y'all see him display that type of loyalty, y'all just be like, oh, what the hell? I would have been cut my mans off. Yeah, because you're weird. <laughs> you weird. Like, unless that friend is really hurting you, you, and he's being loyal to you, so you have a friend that's not hurting you. He's trying to make improvements. Y'all have started a very successful podcast with him. And their situation is different. Some of y'all might have homies that is hurting you. That ain't adding to what you got going on. Yeah, cut them off, right? But in their situation, they got a successful podcast. And they made a good amount of money off of this shit. Why would I cut this man off? He's making his improvements. Y'all weird for wanting to see that. Passion. Strong feeling or belief y'all don't know what it is to have that that burn that fire inside of you for 
a career, a a a, a, a hobby, your people around you, like y'all don't have no passion, and it shows. Y'all got bad physique, bad hygiene. Y'all ain't making no money. Y'all ain't passionate about shit. Y'all ain't passionate about some of y'all, right? Not talking to everyone, but a lot of y'all lack passion and loyalty, which is why when y'all see Myron go off like that, y'all like, ugh, what is that? If I start something with you, I'm going to finish it with you. This is projects. This is tasks. This is relationships. He done started this shit with Fresh, Chris. Some of these boys done joined after. But for the most part, most of these people joined in the first couple years. Why would I switch it up? We got a successful podcast going. I want to see my boys improve. How is this? Isn't it weird how this is a podcast about self-improvement? Y'all grilling my producer, calling him fat drunk. We working on that. Y'all grilling my engineer, calling him overweight. He needs to lose weight. He's lost over 100 pounds. Y'all grilling my co-house. He's improved his speech, got more money, got in better shape. Y'all just love to hate. What the hell? I don't, I don't get it. If I start something with you, I'm going to finish it. That goes for anything. Society likes loyalty. That's why y'all don't know shit about being loyal. Because it's not ingrained in us as a society. On to the next. Instant gratification. If somebody's not giving it to you, go get it elsewhere. Stay away from disloyal people, man. As y'all start y'all week off. I hope these points resonate with y'all and give y'all a small meaning or message, man. It's setting key media, man. Key. Signing off on a solo. Y'all be easy.